guys. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install a, uh, a 2.5 inch hard drive SSD in this case. Although you could do any laptop 2.5 inch as well. Um, in a Mac Pro. Uh, it's going to be going in a 2006 1, 1 Mac Pro. Um, but this will work in all of them. I'm going to be using the SMR uh, drive adapter. It's a it's a uh, drive sled that I got for 10 bucks off Amazon. Um, it's just going to be used. Uh, it's going to be used to attach it into the Mac factory hard drive adapters, um, so that you can plug and play, uh, pull it in and out, no problem. Um, you're going to want to do this on a static free surface, obviously, because you don't want to pop anything with static electricity. Uh, a lot of people have said that this is uh, this adapter is difficult to figure out and doesn't work for them, so I want to take all the mystery out of it. Um, so, in the uh, package with it, um, which by the way, this isn't sponsored or anything like that, obviously, um, has pretty straightforward instructions on it. Um, but basically, we just have the uh, adapter and uh, five screws. So I'm gonna switch to overhead view and uh, show you exactly how to uh, install this. All right, so you're gonna need the uh, Mac factory um, hard drive adapter. In this case, I have a, currently have a hard drive in one of mine that I'm using. So I'm just gonna take these four screws out, four mounting screws out of it, and uh, remove the hard drive from it. So I can have the adapter free. Some of these uh, adapters are designed slightly different. So some of them have a uh, rubber isolator in these screw holes. Mine does not. Um, but they're pretty much the same regardless of that. Alright, so. Now then this mounts right up in here. I'm going to mount, mount the... Uh, SSD to the um, plate first, to the adapter uh, sled, and then mount the sled into the uh, the deal here, um, the adapter itself. I'm sorry, actually it'll probably be easier to mount the sled into the Um, hard drive bracket first and then install the SSD onto the sled. Okay, so basically the lips here um, it slides in this way. You want the uh, you want the lips facing upward on the sled itself so that they go into there and it easily pushes to where these two screw holes match up and we'll add screws into those. Now these these holes on the uh, sled itself are not pre-drilled, so what I'm actually going to do is use their provided screws to screw into it and create threads, and then I'm going to use the factory screws. I'm going to unscrew their provided screws and use the factory screws once I thread it, um, create threads in the holes. So their kit comes with uh, five screws. Three of them are smaller screws which are intended to hold the sled to the SSD. Right now we are attaching the sled to the hard drive bracket so we we'll use the two larger screws. So like I said, and obviously take precaution when you're working with this stuff so that you don't lose screws. Like I said, this slides up into here, these brackets are facing upward. So it slides up into there, nice flush finish there, just like that. And then we'll just get that started. Use a medium sized Phillips head. I 
tell you what. Actually, there's no reason to do this through this. I'm just going to do it free-handed just to create some uh, threads in these holes. And these screws try to bounce around all over the place on you. Okay. So I'm just attempting to thread this into this hole using this tiny screwdriver to create some threads. It's not too hard to do because this hard drive sled that I bought is aluminum, so it uh it bites pretty easily. And that one's been pre-threaded now. Now we'll do the same with the other hole. So we're just doing this, we're just pre-threading the top two holes, the opposite of these brackets right here. Those two. These three, there's no need to do anything with those because the screws actually screw into the SSD on those. Same deal on this one here. Just screw it in and create some threads. It's actually a pretty impressive uh, design to this thing. I'm pretty shocked that there's not much aftermarket support for hard drives for these things, but uh, nevertheless I'm glad that this one exists. Okay, so these facing up here, these brackets, they, what I mean by facing up is they curve up like this. So just slip right through the hole, bottom of the hole right there, and push up to where these screw holes match up on this side. And then Okay, I'm just going to screw this through the hole. Try to keep it screwed straight so that uh, it doesn't cross thread it. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to also pre-drill it with these screws because these screws are a little better bigger than the ones that they provided so I'm going to attempt to pre-drill it here to create bigger thread ho hole opening just to make my life easier You know what, I'm going to do away with the factory screws because I would have to drill it with a drill in order to make it fit. So I will use the provided screws that they provided with the kit. And I've already pre-drilled the holes with, uh, or pre-screwed the holes so that there's threads in them so it should screw in a lot easier now. And supposedly they, they tell you not to tighten on these down until you get them all, all five screwed in for alignment purposes. It's probably a good idea, but I tightened this one down pretty good. And as you can see, still got a lot of play with it. So I'm not too worried about that, honestly. But if you have any alignment issues, loosen all five of your screws just a little bit. And... Um, work out your alignment and make it straight and everything. And I'm just going to eyeball it and see that the distance is the same going down here. And as you can see, once again, it's still got a lot of movement in it. So just eyeball it pretty straight. That'll work right there. And uh, now we'll install the SSD. We have the three screws that are provided for that. Make sure that they fit just fine into these screw holes. So we don't have any issues with that going on. 
nothing like uh, nothing like running into an un unforeseen issue to really irritate you. Yep, they fit fine. They fit fine. So I'm installing a Evo Samsung Evo uh, 860 in this 2006 Mac Pro 1 comma 1. As you can see, that these three screw holes right here line up on the SSD. So as you see, there's four screw holes on the SSD, but this one will will not be mounted. And also, um, obviously, the big connections on this, you know, if if the lips here, the big connections on the left side, little connections on the right side. So that's your. Uh, orientation there to make sure it's right. There's not any screw holes on the other side of it though, so it shouldn't be an issue. But uh, yeah, you just line up the three there and start putting the screws in. Alright, so I'm gonna put the uh, screw through the screw hole. Good lord. Let's start with this one. Sorry, my camera overheated a minute ago. Alright, so I'm going to line it up, put the, uh, get ready to screw it in, and just actually push the screw up to the screw hole, and start screwing it in just enough to snug it up, so that I can line up the others. So that one's in now, now it'll be easier to get the others in. That one is down there. That one screwed in a little bit. And So these are snugged up, just uh, kind of finger tight, more or less. I'm gonna line up the uh, side here, and screw them down tight, holding it in place. Don't have to be super tight, guys. Just snugged up real good. And I'm going to. There's not a whole lot of play in the SSD, honestly. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do literally is just push it forward so that it's got even pressure across it, okay? So that I know it's pretty much straight, more or less. And I'll just snug these up. And once again, guys, you're not looking for a lot of, uh, a lot of tightness on this. Like, you don't want to over-tighten it. You can strip stuff out. And this little bitty guy doesn't need a lot of tightness put on it. That's it. That's it, guys. Literally. Super easy. So, now I'll show you it actually being put into the machine and uh, show you how it lines up. Alright, guys. Here's your uh, 2006 Mac, Mac Pro uh, 1, 1. It's, you know, basically identical um, design-wise as, you know, all the way up to the uh, 2010 Mac Pro. I believe it's the last one that they did that was this design. So what we're going to do is remove this side panel here. There's a latch right here on the back. You just flip it up all the way, just like that. And this just pulls off. So we just push that out of the way. This latch, this is super important. You leave that up. Um, reason being is that each one of these hard drive bays is locked into place with that latch. If you see, uh, when I push it down, you'll see... Here, I'll move the camera over so you can get a better angle on it. Alright, so you see this uh, this latch right here? It actually is what locks the side of the case right down here. But it also locks the hard drives in place. When you push it down, see it move? That's when you latch it up. It locks the hard drives in place. So, you definitely 
want to have this latch up. And then um, literally, you just take your hard drive, find an empty bay. For me, bay one is the one that I'm using. And uh, you, can, you can eyeball it, you know, definitely get a light in there and look at it. I've already looked at this, but um, I'll show you kind of, you know, what we're looking at here, I guess. So there's no question as far as like how to do this. One way to do it. Okay. So, pull this out. As you can see back there, if you can see it, that black thing right in the center. That thing right there. I know my flashlight's washing it out, but that thing right there, that's what we're attaching it to. So big, big connectors on this side, little connectors right there. And it matches our, our uh, hard drive perfectly. Big connector, little connector. So there's channels up in here. Um, let's see if I can show you that. There's channels right here, right here, that this literally just slides right into. So you'll feel it when it, uh, there it is right there. It just slid into it, you just push it in, and it's really easy if it's lined up. Like, just, um, so that's almost all the way in until it's flush. There it's flush, you felt it click in. That's literally it. So now just install the side. It's got this lip on the bottom that goes in a slot down there on the bottom. Push it up until it clicks. Now it's, it's nice and flush up top here. Snap that into place. Um, and turn your Mac Pro on. Good to go. That's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it. Wow. I'm uh, actually really enjoying running this. Uh, I run uh, El Capitan on this uh, Mac Pro on the SSD. It's snappy. It's good. I've got a good video card. Lots of memory in it. This, <laughs> this, uh, God, what is it? A 12-year-old machine is actually kind of a beast. Um, yeah, so it's still, still doing a good job couple of years they'll probably drop support for like Chrome and stuff like that for El Cap Capitan um, but until then you know it's it's really a beast of a machine still so I hope this is helpful to you um, feel free to comment if you have any questions or you know comment if it was helpful to you thanks so much guys